Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to show you how you can interact with villagers in three different ways. Each way has its pros and cons, and uh, yeah, so let's just get straight into this. Okay, so the first method only requires two command blocks, but it has a big downside, and that is when villagers are close together. So let's just test this out. When I right click this guy, it will be red. If I right click him, green, blue, pink. All good, right? But now, if I right click blue and I'm standing next to pink, it will say pink. If I right click pink and I'm standing next to blue, it will say blue. Now, this is not what we want because we want to be speaking to pink. So, yeah, let me show you how this works and uh, we'll move on to the next method. Okay, so as I said, we have three methods. We have the simple method, which I just showed you. The next method we're going to move on to is the complicated method, which you can see is quite over the top. And then we have method three, which is the new approach, where I took a new approach, it's got four commands. And uh, yeah, so you'll have to decide which one you'll want to do. Okay, so to start things off, we have method one. Before I show you how this works, I'm just going to show you the two scoreboard objectives I have. The first one is talk, which is a stat.talk to villager. So basically when you just right click a villager. And then the second one is is damaged and it is a dummy. Now I only used is damaged with the last method, so I'll show you how I use that. So for the first two methods, just focus on the talk objective. Okay, so the first command checks for all players with a score with talk1 and will just tell raw the nearest villager's name to them. So basically, if I right click any villager, it will tell me the closest villager's name. Now, this will work great if your NPCs are scattered around the map far away from each other. This method is perfect for you. You can use it whenever you want. But if your villagers are close together, you will probably not want to use this method as I showed you what happens when you stand next to one and right click the other. Then the last command just sets the player's talk score to zero. That's it for method one. Let's move on to method two. Okay, so method two is the overly complicated method, but it works very well. And uh, yeah, so let me show you how this one works. Pretty much we get the same output, but you'll notice if I stand here and right click green, it says green. If I stand here and right click red, oh, there we go, it says red. <laughs> and then blue, you can speak to him like this, uh, pink, blue, all's good, everything works great. Let me show you how this works. Okay, to show you how this method works, I'm not going to use any text displays on the video. I'm just going to go through the command blocks just the first few because um, basically this is pretty much all repeated uh, so yeah let's show you the first one when a player basically I used a generator that generates all directions with motions and I converted the motions into teleports so the first one the first bottom line basically summons armor stands with specific um, direction tags so we have Direction 3, Direction 2, Direction 1, uh, 4, 5, going up. And these will get summoned when a player right clicks a villager. And also it depends on what rotation they have. So if they have this rotation, it's going to summon arm stand with Direction 1. If they have this di um, direction and they have a talk score of 1, it'll summon an arm stand with Direction 2. So that's it. That's all the bottom line does. It just summons arm stands with Direction tags. Then the top line... It will execute all players with a score talk one. So basically when the player right clicks a villager, it will summon that armor stand. And then based on the armor stand's direction tag, it will TP them with these numbers. And again, I use a generator to generate these numbers. So yeah, now these numbers will TP the armor stand in a specific direction. So if I right click a villager facing this way, it will TP a whole bunch of armor stands going this way. So if I set my talk score to 1 and I'm in spectator mode, you will see armor stands pretty much going in all of these directions, wherever I'm facing. Uh, yeah, and basically the trick to this is when an armor stand hits a villager, it's going to tell Raw their name, which I'm going to show you how that happens now. 
Okay, so how this happens is with these last three command blocks. The first one is going to execute add all armor stands with a tag of vil ray cast. Now every single armor stand that I summon has a tag vil ray cast. Then it's going to execute add a villager's location at dx, dy, and dz of zero, which means if the armor stand is inside the villager, we are going to then tell raw the player the villager's name. Then the last two are just going to kill all armor stands with a tag of vil ray cost and set the player's talk to zero. Again, I know this is a very overcomplicated method, but it works very well and uh, there will be a will download and all the commands in the description below so you can go check those out. Okay, so moving on to our last method, it actually has a different way of speaking to the villagers. Now this is probably my favorite method, one because it's accurate and two because it uses only four command blocks. So let me show you how this one works. Basically to use it, you just need to hit the villager like that. So if I hit blue, it'll say blue, green. And this is why I called it new approach because I took a new approach and this is what I ended up with. Now these villagers are indestructible um, so you can't kill them and uh, yeah this way works perfectly. So let's move on to the last method and I'll show you how it works. Okay so the first command block will set all villagers with a tag of interactable all four of those villagers have a tag of interactable. It's going to set their is damage score to zero if they have a hurt time of zero. So basically if they haven't been hurt, their is damage score is going to be zero. The next command is going to set their is damage score to one if they've been hit. So if they have a hurt time of 10, they've been hit. So their is damage will be one. Then the next command block is going to execute at all villagers with a tag of interactable and an is damage score of one then it's going to tell raw the nearest player their name then the command block after that is going to entity data all villagers with a tag of interactable and an is damage score of one we're going to set their hurt time to zero and give them 100 health so that's it the three ways that you can interact with villagers Again, you can take your pick of which one you want to use. And uh, yeah, again, the will download and the commands are in the description below if you got lost anywhere in the video. So you can go check those out. And that wraps it up. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. This has been Minecraft Space, and I'll see you all next time.